Hello, Internet. Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I know we've spent a lot of time in the Glitz Pit recently, so we're going to leave it all together and not come back for a very long time. We're finally going to start World 4. World 4 is an interesting one. Oh! My adoring fans! Hello, everybody! Hey, Pineapple. Hooray for Great Gonzalez! A valiant comeback, and once more you reign as champ! If regaining the belt is like a soup, what delicious ingredient are you? You're so cool! Yeah, Super Gonzalez! Where's the bathroom? I beg of you, please tell me. This is an emergency. Look over here, please! Oh, I love you all. You are all fantastic. Gonzalez! You guys are all just... Amazing. Thank you for being so <laughs> You're so cool! But, I, I need to get to the exit. Wham! <laughs> Sorry, guys. I did this to Rockhawk. It's only just that this happened to me as well. Out of my way, please. Get out of here. Is that everybody? That's everybody. Sorry, fans. Great Gonzalez <laughs> talks to nobody. <laughs> yeah, I'm going back to Rogueport. Come on, Sid. We're going to see the world. You have so much to experience. Alright, so Professor Frankly said that the pipe to Twilight Town, which is the next world, is somewhere beneath West Rogueport. This is true. Remember that great, uh, great we slid sideways down? We're going back there. <gasps> now with Sid up, oh, with Sid we're supposed to be able to get across there. Move it. Oh wait, oops. This is not the right way. I thought that led into the background. It does not. Out of here, Spanias. You guys are not worth my time anymore. I'll check the lottery while I'm here. Not even close. But that's just what's nice about having such a large inventory space. <laughs> Speaking of large inventory space, how much inventory space do I currently have? Oh, good amount. Cool. Well, once we're up here, shine sprite. Can't break our way through there yet. But now we can go into the background. And we get ourselves a nice star piece. I like how there's a rhythm to the sound effects in this. Like the attack FX badges. In the first game, it was just random which one played if you had multiple equipped. But if you have multiple equipped here, it's just... it's a pattern. Through here... to Twilight Town. This is our stop. <gasps> Huh? The pipe rejected you! I don't know why, I'm a good-looking guy. Got that stash going, the swanky outfit, I'm accompanied by a Yoshi so I'm a friend to all living fiends. I mean, come on. I'm the whole package.
Well, let's go talk to Frankly about that. 225? What up? He's got the Mega Rush. He's probably going to keep having the Mega Rush badge until I buy it, so I might as well. Hey, yo, I should have known. You know a deal when you see one, my man. The unbelievably low price for this Mega Rush is only 60 coins, and you need 1 BP to wear it. It's not a great badge, but it's not a terrible badge. Ba well, it actually kind of is terrible. Basically, if you have 1 HP, your attack power goes up by 5 with that badge. Here's the thing. One, you're rarely at 1 HP. Two, if you're at 1 HP, you're not going to attack. You're going to heal yourself. Unless you happen to have a lot of life shrooms. Alright. Ooh! Here's one I want. Unsimplifier. It makes the action commands harder, but you earn more star power. That's a good one. Alright. I have Shrink Stomp. And I think I have Sleep Stomp. Yeah, you get that in Pit of 100 Trials. Pretty Lucky P, Last Stand P. I have Last Stand P, but not Pretty Lucky P, so let's buy that. Cool. That's it. I'm building up my badge collection nice and easy. Hello, frankly. It's not every day we actually walk through your door, is it? Professor, we found the pipe that leads to Twilight Town, but it totally didn't work. It just pushes you right back out. We can't get through. What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd. Hmm, I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what you should do. Oh, of course! I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. If anybody knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh, Dane. What was it? Ah yes, the lover of dark places, Darkly! I've seen him loitering right here in this part of town in the past. Look for Darkly! Yeah, no joke, that's actually his name. Darkly. And we've actually seen him before. He's back here, he's this dude. Hi there, the name's Darkly. Do you guys need something? Huh? You want to know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Couldn't be easier! You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. No? Really? Okay, hang on, I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write it here on the seat of your overalls. M-A-R-I-O, right? There, perfectamundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name, too. What's your name? Goombella! <laughs> that tickles! I don't know what errand is taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, Darkly. Now we can get to Twilight Town. And apparently he wrote the name of all of our partners down. It just only showed our active one. Because we can go for the pipe with any of our partners. That would kind of be an interesting twist if it's like, Yeah, Goombawa can go for the pipe, but everyone else has to stay behind. It would also be really annoying. Because you wouldn't expect it, but... Alright. Through the door we go. Let's get out, Goombella. And away we are to Twilight Town. Chapter 4 For Pigs, the Bell Tolls. That is a weird chapter name, but it's gonna make sense in uh, like a few minutes. <laughs> We've already got our first pig. Wow, is it Twilight already? Oh wait, I know what's up. This must be Twilight Town. Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from... outside. You've come from far away? Yeah, those coals of yours. Pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Creepy! What the heck do you mean, a bad time? 
Oh, gee whiz, I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear, and scary to tell, too. Oh no! The bell rang again! Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? Oink, oink, oink. What? 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 Oh my gosh, what's going on? Oh, badness. Now poor Freddy got turned into a pig. Not good. Hey, who are you? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dower. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for the telling of tales, sadly. Come, come to my home. Twilight Town. Yeah, this town's creepy. In more ways than just one. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you. But welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Cursed? Yes, cursed. That is the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see? Beyond town is a forest, and in its heart is an ancient building, the Creepy Steeple. It's the dark creature who lives there. Its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings. One of the Twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I too become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, the night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us! Leave before you too get pigified! We can't do that, Mr. Mayor! We're hunting for something! Have you ever heard of a crystal star? A star-shaped rock that's all glittery? Uh, I don't know about any crystal star, Fane. But in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. For real? That totally must be the crystal star! Uh, you people... You aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? <laughs> Unthinkable. That's the Twilight Town Mayor. He doesn't seem too reliable, though. I guess he's been through a lot, though, so maybe I ought to cut him some slack. Yep, this town's creepy. Not only does it look creepy, but the curse is also creepy. I like the sound the doors make, though. Living in this dark place, it's so depressing. You know, I don't really care if I turn into a pig or not. Oh, jeez. And we go from creepy to flat-out depressing. <laughs> I like the crows in the tree. Uh, eh. Eh. Cough, cough, cough! We've got some nice bushes here. I don't think any of these bushes has anything of value in it, though. There might be like a power punch or something in one of them. Oh! Glad I checked! Whoopee! And you've got the inn there. Let's take a look. So this inn is special. If you stay here, you actually can get a, a free peach over there. Like a peach you eat and not like Princess Peach. Those are useful ingredients in cooking, eventually. Smoink boink! Ba boink! Croink oink! What the heck? That's weird. Oh, The kids look so sad. I haven't been able to buy food for my children since my husband turned into a pig. Now they're all so hungry. What should I do? Mommy, I'm hungry! Food, please! Kind traveler, if you have some spare food, could you share it with us? Of course! Yes. You may have a mushroom, I have plenty. Oh, thank you so much. You've made my children very happy, and me as well. It's not much, but please take this as thanks. We get a shooting star! Drops shooting stars on all enemies and confuses them? I didn't know it confused them, that's pretty good. Oh, and kind traveler, where do you hail? Eek, no, where? Yep! This place just gets darker and darker. 
I know she didn't turn into a pig to feed her hungry children. That would be too gnarly. But that is some spooky timing, I swear. Mommy, you're a piggy. Hey, fix my mommy. Hey, are pigs good eaten? Oh, jeez, yeah. Yeah, this chapter is where the game starts getting pretty darn dark. This is a dark Mario game, I'll just say that. Eh. In this village, the moon is really all we can rely on. It can even grant wishes. Don't let me turn into a pig, don't let me turn into a pig. I'll even give a bacon. <laughs> oh. Sniff, sniff, what's going on in here? Oh, a customer. I'm sorry, we're not open right now. Huh? Why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig. <laughs> My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs. But no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig. We got in a fight before he left, and I had called him a chauvinist pig. And now he really is a pig. But he has a sweet side, too, like cooking my favorite mood on my birthday, and when shoppers get rude, he's so nice, and he has so many wonderful things, and I could dip all the coal for the boys. I can't read that fast. Yeah. So, um, are you even listening? So, hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can to help. You can even take anything in the storeroom that might help you, you know? Wink, wink. Oh, boy. This area is so depressing! I've been thinking lately, if I'm gonna turn into a pig, I wanna be a big ol' fat one. Cause what's the point of being a skinny pig, right? Gotta embrace the pigginess! <laughs> oh, dang. Okay, <laughs> you go, champ. <laughs> Nobody in there. That's cryptic. A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious. That's what somebody said. If you still want to go through even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Ha! We've heard that one before! Nasty monster, please. Well, whatever, gate guy. Let's go ask Mario. Dude, I'm trying to help the whole village. Come on. Oh, the bell rang, Mario! That means someone's gonna... Whew, at least it's not me this time. I don't think outsiders can turn into pigs. I think only the natives can. Could be wrong, though. Oh, no! Hey, you don't think this pig is the mayor, do you? What do we do now, huh? We can't get his permission to pass through the gate! Hmm, well, this is a bit of a problem. He'll understand, though. Man, that bell's just ringing like crazy. Oh, look. Huh? The gatekeeper's gone. No, not gone! He turned into a pig! Well, not to be insensitive, but that works out for us. We can just cruise through. And now we exit Twilight Town and we're on Twilight Trail. The longest, most backtracked part of the game. If we enter this shack, we get a black key! A strange black key, but what could it be for? You've recognized those keys. Yep, we're gonna run into another one of those chests. And unfortunately, Twilight Trail is filled with some of the most annoying enemies in the game. This is actually one part of the game that not fighting the enemies you see is actually not a bad idea. To start, we've got this doofus. Oh no! Kill the guy with the boo sheet. We do not want to fight the guy with the boo sheet. That's not good. I hate it when they charge her up together. That is so annoying. Yeah, these are hyper goombas, which can supercharge up to deal like tons of damage. Not good. Almost super guarded there. If you're really good at super guarding, these guys aren't too bad. <gasps> yes! B I N G O! Bingo! Well, that worked out. 
Oh no! Oh, shoot! I'm sorry, Puny! I didn't see what you were trying to throw! And once I see that, I assume it's something bad. Alright, well, let's tattle on this guy. That's a Hyper Goomba, which means, um, it's a hyperactive Goomba. Duh! Max HP is 8, attack is 2, and defense is 0. But if this nut goes bzow and charges up, his attack power will be 8 next turn. So you'd better wipe it out between the time it charges up and the time it attacks. And if you can't beat him, then run away, okay? So yeah, these guys are much worse than Gloombas. Oh man, they don't even give, like, star points? Oh, forget that. Once I've tattled on all the varieties, I'm out. <laughs> There. there we go. Is that a life shroom? This guy has a life shroom? Yep, that's the thing that happened. Oh great, and fog too. Hyper Paragoomba. That's a Hyper Paragoomba. It's basically just a Hyper Goomba with wings. Max HP is 8, attack is 2, and defense is 0. After charging up, you'll be dealing with moves that have an attack power of 8. Once you damage it, it'll lose its wings and turn into a regular Hyper Goomba. Not that that's all that cool. Even normal Hyper Goombas are dangerous. Alright, you're charging up. And you're charging up! Well, that's my cue to run away. One of the reasons why I spent most of my coins. I really don't want to have to... I don't want to lose all of them. Super Shroom! Nice. Oh yeah, these guys. These are the worst. like Hyper Goombas, but more powerful, and you can't jump on their heads. They at least give you star points, though. Or at least they're giving me star points. That's a Hyper Spiky Goomba. It's a Hyper Goomba with a spike on its head. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 0. After charging up, its attack power rises to an incredible level of 9. That's scary. Beat it before it attacks, or you'll be in peril easily before you know it. Seriously. If only this book listed a way to dodge that attack. Oh, nice! BINGO! Another bingo. Yeah, everybody join the audience. Hypercharge. Hypercharge. Well, we know what that means. I'm sorry, crowd, but I'm not fighting guys that can lower my HP that much. Let's get out of here. Well, that's not nice. This pig is a Twilighter. The shock of being cursed made him lose his way, I bet. Well, there's a fallen tree in our path, but we do have coops, so... We get the shop key, a key that opens the door to the storage room in the shop. That's what we need. Well, let's go back. Yeah, you're gonna backtrack for this area a lot. Like, five different times in this chapter. It's very annoying. Later! Alright. Let us go to the shop. Uh, you brought the key! We'll go ahead and open the storeroom if you want. Feel free to take whatever you want out of there. That's a good trade for getting my husband back, I think. In here? Oh, there's some good stuff. Oh, man, really good stuff. We got a jam and jelly. A highly nutritious snack restores 50 FP, just like it did in the first game. It's a boo sheet. Makes you invisible, so attacks against you miss always. This is basically the repel gel of the game. And then, of course, the life shroom over there. This chest contains... Defend Plus! Boost Mario's defense by one. Yes, please. And, of course, this guy. 
Hold up! Hey, who's there? I just heard a voice! There's no way that people could be here! Seriously, that's just so unlikely! Huh? What's that you say? You've seen a chest like this before? Get out of here! No, no, no! I'm not like those chests, I promise! Look in my eyes. Tell me I'm lying. I'm not, seriously. Just get me out of here, you'll see. Don't make me beg. What? Come on, you know how ridiculous you sound right now. I'm laughing in here. You honestly think I'm going to curse you when I get out. Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you, but it's not so much a curse as a... Well, a really wonderful new ability that will let you now go to special places. Doesn't that sound nice? Aw, oh, come on, please. Just find the key and open the chest, okay? I know it's here somewhere. I just can't go look for it myself, because I'm in here. So, pretty, pretty, please. Ah, oh, what the heck. Oh, thank goodness you're going to let me out. Oh, happy day. Wee! Fools! What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? Now I'm going to hit you with the cane of curses, the cursiest curse ever. Fear my terrible power. You'll know the pain of having your body roll up. Be cursed! <laughs> now you're cursed, loser. Savor your suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't even be able to walk. That's how awful it is. <laughs> your suffering amuses me, and so I laugh. Now show me your cursed plight so I can laugh all the more. Just press and hold R, then rotate the control stick repeatedly. <laughs> your pathetic misery thrills me to the core. You must roll around like a silly cardboard tube. Oh, how you'll be laughed at. Now, do you understand the depth of your own agony? Yes, I understand. <laughs> Press B to return to more normal. Don't forget mush brain. I leave you to suffer, fools. <laughs> Yeah, that happened. Now, we're right at about now approaching the half-hour mark, so I could save and quit now, but I got an email, and people like longer episodes anyways. So, well, I'm just gonna keep playing. Oh, also... I'm gonna change some badge equipment around, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm, I don't need quick change in this world. I really don't. I do want Defend Plus. I'll get Unsimplifier, because I'm not going to attempt uh, Super Guards. Well, Unsimplifier's not going to be all that helpful. I'll get Refund. And... Oh. Piercing Blow. There are some very high defense enemies coming up that Piercing Blow will be very useful for. Now we've all seen this. Now that we've got the ability to roll up in a ball and, you know, roll under stuff, we can roll under the tree trunk that was blocking our way. I really want to find all those invisible blocks. There's no there's no character like Watt in the game that lets you bypass the invisible blocks, so... Tube time! Pretty simple. And Star Piece back there. It's a haystack! Hey, Flurry. I still haven't used Flurry's main attack. <laughs> Which is funny. There's always a star piece. I like this, though. That nice silhouette background. It looks very nice. I said nice too many times. Oh, yeah! These guys are back. And they're in the fourth world, and not the uh, sixth world. And they're just as annoying, if not more so. That was just bad, Mario. I really need to tattle. Yep, Crazy Daisies are back. That's a Crazy Daisy. It may look totally cute, but it's a serious foe. Max HP is 7, attack is 2, and defense is 0. 
What you gotta worry about is its lullaby. That tune will totally zonk you out. If you manage to guard well, though, you might not pass out. Try to learn the timing. Oh, and when its HP runs low, it runs away, so try to KO it in one fell swoop. He ran away. And he ran away. Okay. That works. It's easier to guard against their lullaby in this than it was in the original. I will say that. Bam. Dodge back here. We get an earthquake! Attacks all ground-bound enemies. Cool. I want to say there's invisible, an invisible block somewhere around this area. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'll look it up later. I'll be coming back here many times, so... Oh, boy! Oh, Mario, that was terrible. Okay. I can tattle on this. Amazy Daisy. That's an Amazy Daisy. The mystical Daisy is like the rarest thing ever. Max HP is 20, attack is 20, and defense is 1. Since it has such high HP and ru runs away really quickly, it's almost impossible to beat. Plus, its lullaby has massive attack power, so if you were low on HP, we need to scram. You gotta think hard about whether to fight it or bolt. I'm gonna bolt! Yeah. Don't get me wrong, they give you so many star points, so they are the enemy that you want to level grind on. But not worth fighting them, especially at this point in the game. Oh! That's the guy. Hyperclefts are back. You remember them. But we fought them in the Pit of a Hundred Trials. This time, though, they're very easy, because we can just use Piercing Blow to kill them in one hit. They have four defense, keep in mind, so... You get a damage a lot. Power Smash would only damage two. Piercing Blow damage is four. And we get the Hammer Throw Badge! Throw a hammer at one foe, no matter where it is. We got that really early in the first game. They make you wait it out for this one. And it's a tree. You can't get past it. Of course, that's just a lie. Actually, we don't fight any new enemies in this next area, so... Alright, Flurry. Can you blow away the rock? No, you can't. But you can blow this away. See this rock in the background? Don't ask how that happens. Just accept it. Alright, get out of here, Flurry. I have no need for you. Your battle skills are abysmal. This is why I got out, Sid. Oh, I guess they only have free defense. Gulp time! Free star points, not terrible. Oh, and another earthquake. I have no use for earthquakes because they do not make. Oh! Shine Sprite back there, okay. <laughs> earthquakes aren't terribly great items, and they can't be used in cooking, so I don't really like them all that much, but I should use them. And welcome to Creepy Steeple, everybody. That's a pretty view. This is Creepy Steeple, where the monster supposedly lives. This place creeps me out. Let's get that crystal star and get out of here as fast as we possibly can, okay? And that's where we're going to leave the episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in next time, we will get our make our way through Creepy Steeple. It's a pretty short dungeon. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.